It could be anything in between those. Uh, and the answer is, I don't know. I absolutely understand the reasoning behind it, um, because, you know, that th th there is no doubt that the Irish border has been used as a, and it is a real issue. I mean, there's no, it isn't, hasn't been invented, um, but it has been used as a, a, a negotiating ploy, uh, particularly by the EU side. Um, and it's incredibly sensitive. It's incredibly sensitive on all sides. Um, the Good Friday Agreement, which has been so important for the uh, peace and stability in the island of Ireland, is uh, hugely important. But so is the integrity of the United Kingdom. Uh, and you know, when um, the British government is told, as I believe they were, by the EU side that if there wasn't a deal um, signed by the end of December and implemented by the end of December, uh, then the EU would uh, ensure that food uh, could not be transferred from um, Great, British, Great Britain mainland to Northern Ireland, then that set alarm bells ringing um, because that didn't feel like the good faith uh, negotiating that had been the kind of uh, premise behind the signing of the withdrawal agreement. But Lord Maud, isn't there a school of thought that says that that was invented afterwards as an excuse? It's kind of um, looking back, saying, well, how do we justify this? I know, let's blame the Europeans for bringing, uh, I don't know, a, a, a gun to the table in what was a knife fight, and so we're going to take it to the next level, so to speak. I, there is lots of theories about that as well, whether that really was the catalyst, sir. Well, they are, th there are, they are theories. I believe that is the case. Um, but, you know, who knows? I wasn't there, you weren't there, um, and there are only a, a small number of people were there. Uh, it, it, there's no doubt to actually, uh, if, you, if they can get this provision through in Parliament, which will be a challenge, um, and, um, but if they do, then to exercise this option would be an inflammatory thing, for sure. Um, and, uh, and and would involve, as I understand it, I was a lawyer a long time ago, several careers ago, um, but uh, it would involve a breach of international law, but it's very conditional and, and you know, and, and, and there's nothing in the uh, legislation as proposed that uh, commits it to, to happen. It's simply a fallback option. Um, Lord Maud, the uh, commentary out of the United States has, has largely been negative towards the British government on, it, on the position it's taken here. Um, how seriously do you take the comments from people like uh, Joe Biden that there will be no US-UK trade deal if the UK government goes down the road with the EU on the, um, uh, the uh, internal market plan? I think you have to take it seriously. I mean, the, the Irish issues play very strongly in American politics. We know that. That's always been the case. Um, <clears throat> but um, I mean, so you have to take the the what what he says seriously. But the the but the other side of it is, I wouldn't put that much money on the chances of there being a really substantive um, U.S. U.K. Uh, free trade agreement under a Biden administration anyway. Um, you know, the, the, the America has become much more protectionist than than before. It's never been the most sort of vigorous free trader. Um, Britain already has a significant trade surplus with with America. So I've I've always been a bit skeptical about how much value there is from a potential U.S. U.K. free trade agreement in any event.